Welcome, fifth grade. I'm glad you're here. Right now, there's a lot going on in the world, and it's important to talk about how you feel, whether that be to a family member, friend, or teacher. Having emotions is part of what makes us human. Artists use emotions in art, and you can use your feelings to set the mood in your artwork as well. Artists are storytellers. Art can connect us as humans. You will be able to connect each lesson this nine weeks to personal experiences and the world. Today we will look at the artwork of Grant Wood. He showed that artists can tell stories through their artwork. Grant Wood was born in the U.S. in 1891. He painted meticulous Renaissance-inspired images that depicted the landscape and people of his native Iowa as well as scenes from American history and mythology. His most famous painting is American Gothic, which depicts a farmer and his daughter. Another one of his paintings is Parson Weems' Fable that he created in 1939. This painting tells a story. Think about what it is that is being emphasized in this painting. The first thing that I notice and that a lot of people notice is that there is an old man's head on a tiny body. And hopefully you have seen that face before. That's George Washington. There's a lot of things that draw our eye towards George Washington in this painting. If you look at the lines, they all point to him. The big man in front is pointing to him and the man in the red coat is as well. Even the ladder on the top left of the painting is pointing to in his direction. The corner of the house is pointing towards the axe in his hand, and even the little sliver of the tree is pointing to the axe as well. There are lines all over this painting that are pointing in that direction. Grant Wood also uses other elements of art to draw your attention to George Washington, like repeating shapes and value. The person in the front is the storyteller, and the painting is referencing the famous story of George Washington chopping down a cherry tree. The story shows that he has good character because he said, I cannot tell a lie, when asked about the broken tree that he chopped down as a child. The story was made up by Parson Weems, the man behind the curtain, to show that Washington was an honest man. Here are some other examples of portraits by two different artists. Can you see the expression in the faces? We're going to take some time to look at the details of these two faces. Notice how the line on his face is straight. That means the eyes are on the same plane. Look at the girl's face. The eyes are in the middle of the face. The hairline is a fourth higher. The nose is a fourth lower. The artist used these proportions to make her look realistic. Artists learn to draw people by really looking at the features of the face. Proportions are measurements such as the one you see to the left. Proportions are used to compare one part to another part or to the whole. Artists use this knowledge to create portraits. You are going to create your own portrait or self-portrait today, and I would like you to show emotion in your artwork and consider proportion. Portraits are artwork showing people. Portraits can show someone's appearance, someone's mood, someone's expression, and feelings. Try to think about how that person or yourself looks. Think about their face and their pose in the drawing. Are you going to draw just their face or their whole body? Are you drawing yourself or someone else? Why is this person special to you? Make sure to break the features of your drawing down into simple shapes. Sometimes it helps to look at a photo when drawing, but you can also draw from your imagination. See if you can draw your person or yourself in a unique way. Don't forget to add a background. The background is the area behind your person. Tell us something about that person through your background. Make sure to fill your page and have fun. 
Don't forget to share your work on Google Classroom. I can't wait to see what you guys create. On Friday, you guys are going to take a pretest on Google Classroom to show me what you know. Don't worry if you don't know all the answers. Try your best. I just want to see what you already know and what we still need to learn. Have a great week. Bye.